I've shot a film made by Double in the past, including their Sunstroke film, which has recently rebranded as Solar, and this made into my top 5 novelty film video. But this is my first time shooting their Pacific film, which is rated at an ISO of 200. According to Analog Wonderland, a brilliant online film store where I got it from, <laughs> I'm not sponsored, it's just a great website run by some very knowledgeable people, the film is pre-exposed to mellow tones, which should give your images subtle blue and green overtones. And that's why I headed to the pier here in Brighton. I wanted to see how the film would react with the tones of the sea and sky, along with the bright colours of the rides. Due to the current situation, it was super quiet, which limited the amount of action shots, which is probably why I turned to capturing seagulls. The effect was actually not as subtle as I was expecting. I think this image is a good example of what this film can do, turning the wooden brown boards into this deep blue. I haven't edited the colours or saturation of any of these images, as I wanted to show you a true representation. It also provided some really strong contrast I wasn't ready for. The results aren't that consistent, and as with a lot of novelty tone changing films, they are more effective in bright situations. But that being said, I did get quite a few frames that I really like. And I think this is a combination of me liking the effect of the film and enjoying shooting again. I discussed this in my previous video that I've been struggling to be inspired during lockdown, but I've really been enjoying shooting these last couple of weeks and I can definitely see it in my images. I'm being more experimental and seeing images that I wouldn't have seen before including this one. I saw this puddle of water which was reflecting a neon sign and I was just waiting for the wind to die down a bit as I adjusted my settings to make the reflection a bit more visible in the water. And as I went to click the shutter, this guy came along and started sweeping it all out of the way. Me and Emily found it really funny for some reason. A big thank you to Emily for filming all of this. So we walked away as we didn't want him to think we were laughing at him. He was just doing his job after all. Maybe it will teach me to take a photo a bit quicker next time. On my way home, I snapped the last few frames and I got some images, again, I really like. The Pacific effect is really minimal in these. This could be because they're at the end of the roll or just a coincidence. So let me know down below if you've shot any of Double's films and what you thought of them. And I'll see you in the next one.